here in the beautiful fence green pastures of Suck Farm Park in Holly Springs. It's quiet now, but on September 27th, this place will be rocking with one of the Triangle's largest beer festivals, Beer Akana. More than 40 brewers will be here to provide us with great samples of amazing craft beer. Props? Sorry, sorry. You don't want to miss it. Get your tickets now. Hi, I'm Glenn, Days Behind the Camera. We're the NC Beer Guys, and welcome to another episode of the NC Beer Buzz. Uh, we're continuing our journey today in Asheville, and we're in the uh, brand new, fairly brand new, nine weeks in, One World Brewing, and we're here with the owner, founder, brewer, he is the man, and he and his wife are running the uh, One World Brewing Company, and we're underneath the Farm Burger, on the address is on Patton. 10 Patton Avenue. 10 Patton Avenue, and you come down the alley beside the Farm Burger, uh, and it's a big yellow sign out on the street that kind of is something to draw we to have, attention. We have, a, we have a little sandwich board out on the sidewalk right. for right now. We still don't have a signage up yet. Come down the alley and go through the Hobbit door. You can't miss it. And follow the steps down into the underworld of beer. <laughs> We're under, actually underneath the, the farm burger. Correct. Right, right. In a basement kind of an area. And they really furnished it out nice in a nice tap area. And Jay was kind enough to sit down with us. So we're going to talk about how it came to be and how he came to be doing this great endeavor. So thanks for having us. Thank you. So we appreciate you having us in for today. So uh, we, we said we've been in about nine weeks. Yep. So far so good? Oh yeah, really good. Yep. More than you ever expected or I mean, did you know? Definitely better than we expected. Uh, yeah, it really has caught on pretty quick. Uh, good. People are loving the beer and uh, yeah. So right. I'm really happy about that. How long from the vision to the reality? I mean, you, about two and a half years. Okay. Yep. You knew you were going to do it. Yep. Had identified the space, I guess. Well, we. Right. Right for, for a little over a year, we were looking for a space. Okay. Um, and uh, Farmburger uh, got a call from the, the owner of this building, and they said, we'd love it if you guys wanted to come do your thing at our building. We took a look at it, and the basement was perfect for what uh -huh. we were looking for. Right. So we jumped in. Uh, right. And I understand you did a lot of the outfit yourself, a lot of the work here, in uh -huh. the, right here all the woodwork and stuff. Uh -huh. Nice. Very nice. So you were a home brewer, or how did you decide you wanted to be yeah, a brewer? I've, I've been a home brewer for about 10 years. Okay. Um, and uh, I'm a stonemason carpenter by trade. All right. Uh, but, uh, you know, when the phone stopped ringing around 2008, uh, 2009. You had to think about the, where it's going, right? Exactly, yeah. So friends and family were just, yeah, they just said, why don't you brew beer today? So I never really even for dreamed, a dreamed of right. it. Yeah, for a living. Right. Uh, so yeah, I put together a business uh, proposal, and then you had good family support off camera here. Yep. She yep. was supportive of what you right. did your yep. adventure. Extreme, yeah. Very and could keep working and pay the bills. <laughs> That's right. That's right. That always <laughs> helps. That always yep. helps. So, would you say that there's a style or a mission or a philosophy of One World? Yeah, I would say um, I would say our our mission is to uh, sort of I guess bring community together. Here in Asheville, we have great community. Here. Great beer scene. Great people. Great beer scene. Uh, obviously, we want to want to brew the best beer possible, uh, and that's obviously very subjective. But, but bring something to the community. At the right. Same time. Bring something to the community. Get the community together, and um, you know, kind of spread awareness about sustainability. And, and uh, you know. are you local sourcing as much as you can, or some, or is that yeah, part of definitely. the definitely yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're. Uh, I mean, we're collaborating with. Uh, Riverbend Malts okay. and uh, with French Broad Chocolate Lounge, mm -hmm. you know, Chocolate Truffle Stout. Uh, there's hop farm, you know, there's several hop farms in the area that uh, that we get different hops, but can't always get the hops that we of need. Of course, we hear more and uh, more the hops are a shortage. Right. Yeah. So, um, pretty much, yeah, you, you source wherever you can get the, the right hops. And we're going to try to have uh, standard flagships or constantly changing menu options? Really or? constantly changing okay. kind of thing. Uh, we definitely are going to have some flagships. But say. we're not maybe sure yet what they are. They might not years. always be on, you know. Okay, so there'll be some always go to One World Brewing beers. Uh -huh. Absolutely, yeah. But yet, it will also be rotational and one-offs mm -hmm. and your creativity right. will show as it evolves. Right, exactly. Right. I think we'll probably always have three or four uh, flagship mm -hmm. go-tos on, on tap. Um, but yeah, we uh, we also later in the fall we're, we're going to start a uh, homebrew tap. So we're going to bring homebrewers in and have them brew on our system. Okay. And um, and feature them on, on one of the taps. All right. Um, oh, that'd be great. So that's going to be really fun. We're looking forward to that. Oh yeah, that bring that whole extra component to the community too. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Good. Good. Yeah. 
So, uh, what's selling best? What have you found about the styles? What do people go for? Um, well, we are hop heads. So okay. Me and Aaron, the brewers, um, we are definitely hop heads. We love that hop. Now, what's his background? Homebrew as well? Homebrew as well. He's also been brewing for about 10 years. Okay. Um, and, uh, yeah, I mean, we love the hobby beers, but we also, you know, we realize that not everybody likes the hobby beers. Like so there's not really a signature style that's going to be one world, that we'll know one world is made no, this we're going to do all different we'll kinds, all styles. I mean, there's probably almost 70 different styles of beer that we plan on doing. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, we're going to have to rotate rotate that stuff out. Because so. you've got, what, 10 or 12 taps? Pits? we got 10 taps. Yeah. 10 taps, we, okay. We now have 18 different kinds of beers that we do. Um, and by some this, regularity. By this fall, it'll be about 30. Uh -huh. Good. And for now, we only get one world beer here on premises. Right. And I guess there's some hopes of having some accounts and some taps outside. Or that's right. Yeah, we're we're about to um, we're about to get a tankless water heater that'll allow us to brew twice as much mm -hmm. um, in, because in less this, time. At this point, it's a very small operation. Very small. Yeah, it's a barrel and a half. Okay. About 40 gallons. So it really, all you can make, you can sell right, right. here on premises. Right. Exactly. Especially if the response has been good, like you said. Right. Good. Because yep. they can come in here and drink you out of a style. I mean, exactly. Right. Yeah. One yeah. evening, they get something. Yes. Yeah. The inner thigh, we have to brew uh, at least once a week, sometimes twice a week, mm -hmm. so just keep it in stock. It was off off tap for one night, so. Right. Or maybe just a few hours, but it's right. back tonight. So. Okay. Um, yeah, people, that's, that's probably the one that is definitely the people's favorite. So far. And you said earlier it had been like more well received than you had to really imagined. So what does that lead you to think about the future? Is it going to be, uh, you had some goals obviously when you opened the doors. Uh -huh. You had some benchmarks that you hoped you'd hit. Right. You're probably going to hit those. Maybe right. quicker than you thought. Right. Yeah, does that, make you, at, does that yeah. make you think bigger and better quicker? Definitely. Well, I mean, maybe quicker, um, but we definitely need, you know, are eventually going to need an off-site uh, brewing facility. We'll, we'll definitely keep this spot and maybe this this will turn into more of a homebrew Right. Home brewers, uh, and a tasting collaborative area. Collaborative kind of, uh -huh. kind of exactly. Right. Tasting area. And maybe have the most of the production from somewhere else. Right. Right. Yeah. 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 Um, the tap room, tap room to tasting area is open when? When can people come in and have a brew? Right now it's open Wednesday through Sunday, uh, okay. 4 p.m. to midnight. All right. Yeah. Okay. Um, and in, in the foreseeable near future, we may be going uh, six days a week, probably to start opening Monday or. Uh, Maybe opening at like three o'clock on the weekends, stuff like that. So and people can bring food in, I guess. Yep, people okay. can bring it in. There's no food. So pack food it in, supply. pack it out, policy. Okay, right. Okay. Yeah, clean up behind yourself and take yep. it with you when you go. Exactly. But bring what you need. Right. Like you so, what has surprised you? As a new, we just left talking uh, to Mr. Wong at Uh huh. And it's a whole different perspective. He's been around since whatever, '94, and you it's guys. The Godfather. Are, yeah. and, right. The Godfather and you guys here. are kind of like the new man on the, on the list. Um, what does that mean for you to be a part of beer scene in action, to you personally? I mean, it's a huge honor. I mean, really huge honor. Um, and all of the brewing community have been so supportive, so helpful, so generous. Um, it's almost not a competition. It, there, it's not a competition. Sense. It's a family. It really is. It's a, it really is. And you must feel fortunate to be part of it in a big set. Incredibly, incredibly thankful. But at the same time, you have people that you can call on when you get in a bind yep. or have a problem that you haven't yet encountered because yep. as a new guy, you're going to run into things exactly, that yeah. you've not encountered before. Mm -hmm. And you're on a system that's different than everybody else is using, maybe. Right. You're learning, your skills are coming up. and But you know there's somebody out there that's got your back. Exactly. Yeah, it's a really good feeling. That's great. Good. Well, we wish you the best. Thank you, sir. Again, thanks for having us in. Thank you. And we've been at One World Brewing with Jay. And he invites us in, and we invite all our viewers to come in. And when you're in Asheville, uh, the newest part of the Asheville beer scene is underneath the uh, Palm Burger on Patton Avenue. Yep. And come on in, have a beer, and say hey to Jake and the rest of the guys here. Until next time, remember, oh, come on in. <laughs> Until next time, remember, drink local, keep your beer dollars North Carolina, and we'll catch you later, buds.